Hello, this is Daniel Raymond, the voice behind Ray's Guide, with a pre-briefing on the upcoming Invictus Launch Week celebration. In-game, Invictus Launch Week is a celebration of the UEE Navy and each year's new recruits to the Naval Academies. It's a huge public relations and recruitment opportunity. For military shipbuilders, though, it's a chance to have a big show, both for the Navy purchasing bigwigs, local system enforcement agencies, and for those private entities yearning for military-style gear which is most of us, and in that process defining military rather broadly. The other big ship expo of the year, the IAE, in the fall, was getting a bit crowded, and having a separate spinoff made sense both in the game world and for CIG and us. So if you don't see your favorite cargo ship or racer or such, it will be available at the IAE expo in the fall. But there will be plenty of multi-role ships, such as the Avenger and Hercules, that will get included in both shows. This year, for the first time, the exposition is in Orison, and the Cloud City has spruced up with two new areas as a result. The first is, as you would expect, the exposition hall itself, called Vision Center. You get to Vision Center via the new aerial shuttle that runs between Dunlow Spaceport and it. To get to it, just go to the platform at Dunlow Spaceport and look for the gate that is just to the right of the shuttle going from Cloudview to here and from here to Providence. It is also directly across from the opposite direction shuttle coming from Providence to here and from here to Cloudview. It is clearly labeled Vision Center and is a short ride there with a wonderful view that we expect from Orison. Once you arrive at the platform, it's a straight path to the exposition lobby, which will look very familiar to anyone who has seen prior ship expositions with the usual merch and swag shops, and then of course, the elevators to the exposition halls when they open. As is typical for Fleet Week, Drake wants a seat at the ship show table and continues to be refused it by the other manufacturers and the Navy. So, once again, they have set up their own Drake Defense Con near the end of the show and it will be at Dunlow Spaceport near the Chairman's Club entrance. Where you would normally turn right at the gift shop to go to the ship hangars and Dunlow Spaceport, you just continue straight to the end of the concourse. The second new addition to Orson is Inspiration Park, a luxurious work-life commercial park with several platforms. Getting to Inspiration Park, though, is not simple. From Cloudview Center and the Green Circle Habs, you head towards the Crusader Showroom building. From there, you will find that the elevators will take you to the Crusader Showroom, which has been spruced up for the show, but now also those elevators allow you to go to the roof. And when you get to the roof, you will see a lovely rooftop plaza with a shuttle stop where... Where, where? Oh, I see nothing. I was not here. I did not even get up this morning. The next shuttle is approaching okay, the this is just wrong. So here is where things are going to get a little complicated. You see, even though this is an open and public PTU that I am recording this in, and even though you are apparently completely able to follow my exact footsteps Please and see the exactly shuttle the same things, running. Everything that I know about this place, and what did or may or may not wind up happening, is still covered under a permanent NDA. So I can't actually say anything at all about it. That don't make no sense! But it is open to be seen, and I really think you deserve to appreciate the many hours of skilled artistry that went into it. So I am just going to let it run as B-roll while I say completely unrelated things about the show and ship sales. So now for some guidance about the ship sale itself. And when CIG refers to this as a sale, they do not mean that things are at a special price. It means that ships that aren't normally on sale at other times are now on sale. The only thing that might be regarded as a special deal is that almost everything comes bundled with 10 years of insurance. There's a certain pattern to announcements that we have come to expect at ship shows. We know that there are at least three unannounced ships in the progress tracker, and it has been confirmed that there will be a lot of attention to the newly flyable Scorpius. And even though not a military ship, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first time that the hull A will be available at a ship expo with the typical 10-year insurance included. I also wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't a hull A game package made available since it is in the right price range for one. The next shuttle is Usually, the first day of the sale includes something that is nicknamed an LTI token. This is an inexpensive new ship or vehicle that, because it is being debuted, comes with lifetime insurance. Calculating buyers snap up the LTI token, and then 
use the ship upgrade to purchase the ship that they actually want to buy, but with the LTI of the original cheap ship. Now, before you get caught up in all this lifetime insurance token, ask yourself one thing. Do you want your fleet to be one ship larger than it already is? Because buying an LTI token essentially is admitting that you want to have one more ship, even if not the token ship. If so, do you have a plan for what that ship is? Because remember that no matter how many ships you own, you can only fly one of them at a time, unless you're buying ships to equip an org or, or to promote your content creation on the internet. Wink, wink. Since Anvil is the first manufacturer, that would suggest, but not require, that the LTI token would be an Anvil product. But what could that be? Well, last year they used the Anvil Spartan as the LTI token vehicle, and in the announcement mentioned their Titan platform for vehicles. So could we see a third member of the family along with the Ballista and the Spartan? Possibly, maybe some sort of command vehicle with an enhanced long-range sensors, or maybe a mobile artillery. Or failing that, some sort of new model of the Arrow would be in the price range. As for the remaining ships that will be announced, CIG likes to spread them around at various price points, with under $100, under $200, I'm speaking US, and somewhere in the whale bait category, all targeted. We can also expect to see some limited additional releases of the limited quantity capital ships like the Idris and Javelin. Now, as to the new ships, the recent pattern for CIG has been emphasizing ships that have to do with providing for operations in Pyro, such as the Odyssey and Liberator, and with the cargo refactor, such as with the Argo Raft. This may provide some clue as to what CIG might be surprising us with this year. Recently, I did a video where I suggested eight new ship concepts that weren't already in the game. Among the ones with the most excited comments were vehicles to help loading and unloading of ships under the cargo refactor and a small space limousine for doing taxi missions. But that's definitely not a military craft. Frankly, compared to a lot of other ship shows, like the 400i at the last Citizen Con, there are remarkably few solid leaks about what we will be seeing. So I'm just going to sit back and see what happens. I suggest you do too. And now for an update on the Grow the Channel ship giveaway. As of recording, we are approaching 69% of the subscriber goal and 60% of the membership goal to give away someone's choice of either the Anvil Liberator, that ship shipping ship for shipping your ships, or the Misk Odyssey long duration exploration carrier. Members, you're entered automatically, and if the winner was a member as of the publication date of the winning video and at the drawing date, they will win both of the ships. For everybody else, just be a subscriber and comment with the secret word. And the secret word for this video is the name of the new exposition center at Orson. Fly safe, keep it real, and I'll see you in the verse. This is Daniel Raymond for Ray's Guide.